good morning everybody good morning good morning how are you doing what's going down in your city <laughs> i am your empowerment coach lt you know holding down today how you guys holding it down i'm holding it down pretty groovy over here what about you <laughs> well i wanted to just jump on here and kind of give you guys a little bit of motivation and inspiration for your morning for your day um you know i i i've i lately i've just been seeing a lot of and feeling for myself personally um a lot of hurt um anxiety especially when you're transitioning you know um when you're evolving um you know shifting is essential to growth and so sometimes we look at the shift when it's painful, when it's uncomfortable. And we're like, this can't be God. You know, I don't know what to do and I don't know what to say, but I don't know what direction to turn. Um, but I'm here to tell you that if you're feeling a shift, if you're feeling like things are being pulled from you and, um, you know, things that you used to do professionally are starting to change, you allow God to do that. Allow him to do that because what the devil intends for evil, God turns around for good, right? So if God turns it around for good, trust him in the process. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. He's not going to make things go bad for you on purpose and just let you sit there in, in your stuff. That's not the kind of God we serve. And I can tell you from personal experience, that's not the kind of God we serve. He has taken me from one valley out of that valley. I've soared and evolved. And then, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. You're going to go through some things, man. You're going to have some hard times. But don't give up. Don't give up. You're almost there. You're almost at the finish line. You're almost, your brand is almost there. Your business is almost there. Your your marriage is almost there. Your your children's attitudes and, and back and forths are almost changing. What are you saying to your situation? Are you speaking life into your situation or are you speaking death into your situation? Life and death lies in the power of your tongue. So what are you speaking? Are you saying my marriage is blessed? My business is a seven figure salary business and it's blessed in Jesus name. You know, my, my, my children are blessed. They are a well behaved. They are respectful in Jesus name. Talk back to your situation. You have the power to do that. Your situation will change when your thinking shifts. Not everything deserves a nag. Not everything deserves you going back and forth. Not everything deserves a negative opinion. Have you ever sat back and said, you know what, Lord? You tell me what the devil intends for evil. You turn around for good. So, yes, although I'm in my stuff, I'm going to trust you for that good. You know, a lot of arguments doesn't even need to happen communicate effectively arguments are just for people to me who honestly don't know how to express their feelings and if you haven't invested into a coach get one if you haven't invested into some uh, uh oprah has 26 mentors i have four that i consult with regards to my business whatever so i'm telling you get some people in your in, in your bucket with you that can help propel you forward. Keep hope. Stop holding on to all the dead weight. Some people that you thought was going to be there 20 years ain't going to be there. Okay, some people you thought were going to be there the rest of your life may not be there. So do not bank your career, your dreams, your vision on other people or other people's perception of you. You bank your purpose, your vision, all of that on what Jesus told you to do. And you don't let nobody sway you from it. You hold on to the promises God had for you. You hold on to the promises God has for you. You hold on to what he said. He's not going to forsake them. And his word would never return back to him void. God bless you guys on today.